Hey, what's going on? This is Rob from Panther Vision. Today I want to show you how to blend flowers. But before we do that, uh, I want to present you a special guest. Today I want to share with you a domestic online course from Michael Johnson, one of the greatest and most talented designers nowadays, who's also the author of the books Branding and Problem Sold. What I loved in this course is that he actually shows a lot of case studies, how he's taking the brand strategy and transforming the data into clever design. He's going to teach you how to solve problems in a business with strategy and actually going to see him how he does it in practice with the most famous brands out there such as Mozilla, Duolingo, University of Cambridge and many more. They're going to give you enough clarity that design is not just this uh, cheap logo thingy, it actually can increase the company's revenues a lot if it's done in the right way. There's actually case studies in the course. So in this course you're going to find simplified strategy, rebranding, verbal communication, case studies and you're going to get some good book recommendations. If you want to see more, click the link in the description. There's like a 70% discount. I think it's available for two more days. So go and get it. All right. So let's select the circle, which is located right here. Where's the rectangle tool? Here is the ellipse tool. Select it. Make sure you don't have anything on the field. Click on the none if you got something on the field and click on the stroke and press and hold Alt plus shift. Create a circle. Now we're gonna remove this anchor point by selecting the direct selection tool select this anchor point click on delete we're gonna go to the what is this the pen tool so if you long uh, long press it here it's gonna show the anchor point tool which we're gonna select and click on this anchor point and this way it's gonna make it straight and we're gonna click on this also and it made both straight I'm gonna press and hold alt and make a little bit longer we're gonna select the reflection tool press and hold alt click on this anchor point and select vertical click on copy now you can see we got two, two copies i also gonna pull it a little and now go to object go to blend and click on make and we're gonna go and double click on the blend tool all right, select specified steps. I'm gonna increase the numbers to 12. 12 is good. Also gonna increase the stroke. I'm gonna go to the stroke options, which is located right here. I'm gonna add five. I'm gonna select a profile, a stroke profile. I'm gonna go with the first one. And as you can see with the first one, it made these areas thinner of the line and this area and the middle one basically it's the thicker one okay we're gonna need another one of this press and hold alt drag it to the right also press shift so you can isolate it and now we're gonna swap it you can swap it here with this little arrow swap fill and stroke now we got this uh, click on the fill which is located right here I'm gonna go with the white color and I'm gonna pull this fill on the shape so we got both of these shapes uh, right click on the fill and click on arrange send to back now basically it's in the back all right press ctrl G so this way you're gonna group them together gonna make a new copy of this press and hold alt drag it down also press shift on the, uh, where they intersect click where they intersect press ctrl C and control F or you can go and go to the edit paste in front basically it's gonna paste another copy on the front all right press and hold shift and then rotate it twice let me see what we have in so as you can see it basically overlaps on each other uh, I'm gonna create another one because on group and I'm gonna pull this even more up some around here so they won't overlap each other and gonna repeat the process as you can see now they intersect a little but uh it's just a small problem so select them all right click group and press again ctrl c and ctrl f now we're gonna press and hold shift rotate it once now we got some flower going on all right I'm gonna also press Ctrl C, Ctrl F of this. Ctrl C, Ctrl F. Right click, arrange, bring to front. I'm gonna scale this down. Press and hold Shift plus Alt, of course. I also can decrease the stroke a little. 
And there you have it. This is how you achieve a flower in blend. So yeah, thanks so much for watching. And if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates. And also check out the other video as well. Have a great day. Bye bye.